Adventurous kids explore with education and learning what a wildlife is in the Everglades. I want to explore the Museum of Discovery Science. What plants do butterflies like? I want to know about Key West Adventurous Kids. Learning and fun. Adventurous Kids! Today, I'm going to be telling you about black ice. Lots of cool things about driving. There's the freedom of getting to go where you want to go, when you want to go there. You know, uh, driving on the highway can actually be a fun time. But there are some things we have to be careful about and think about when we're driving. Now, here in, in South Florida, one of the things we worry about is called hydroplaning. Is when the, the road, the heat from the road, raises the oil and the water from the rain you know is there and it's just a little bit there and it, it doesn't even look like maybe there's any puddle there but it's slick right and you can lose control of your car something you might not know about if you're not from like a, like for me example i'm from florida i had to learn about this from family that lives elsewhere in the country in places where it gets really cold they experience something called black ice so black ice would make you think that there's ice on the road that's black, right, given because of its name. But really black ice is, uh, it's see-through. You almost don't even see that it's there. It's just a thin layer of ice. So what happens is precipitation, which is rain or snow, will happen. So typically it's rain will fall, and then a little bit of puddle, like little puddles will pool on the road. As the weather changes and it gets colder, it gets to freezing temperatures, those little puddles of water freeze over but you, you're see-through, so you only see the road, so you typically don't see them. If you're walking, you might slip. If you're driving and you try to hit your brakes, you might slide. So here are some tips that are really important to know if you're driving and you hit a patch of black ice. Drive slow. The posted speed limits are the suggested speed limits for when we have ideal traffic conditions, but if you're driving in a 45 and there might be black ice, you can slow that down. Another thing you can do is keep your distance, keep a safe distance from the cars in front of you. Again, you don't want to have to put yourself in a situation where you're going to have to slam on your brakes because that's just going to send you sliding. It's not going to stop your car in a black ice situation. If you do find yourself needing to brake, don't slam the brakes. Similar to if you're hydroplaning, you want to gently pump your brakes. And if you happen to notice that you're in a skid, you want to turn. If there's no cars there, you can lean into the skid bring the car to a stop, and then get back on the road. The last piece of advice I'll give you is to check the tread on your tires. The tread is the little hash marks on the tire that grip the road as you drive. You want, if the tire is smooth, you need to go get new tires, your tread is gone. Even better if you live in those places, if you can afford it, snow tires really help. Thanks for watching this Adventurous Kids episode. What did you learn today? Adventurous kids. Adventurous kids. What was the most interesting fact? Adventurous kids. Adventurous kids. Adventurous kids.